province of Saskatchewan has more than 10,000 lakes and some of the largest lakes are found up in the northern part of the province. The lake is described as any landlocked natural water body of more than 15 acres in size. Anything smaller than that is what we call a pond. In Saskatchewan we call these little pond sloughs and we are very fortunate to have a little slough or a little pond right here on our little acreage in Strawberry Hills in Saskatchewan. Now, currently I'm standing at the edge of the pond and you can see the pond extends all the way from the road right across that side all the way along the tree line right to the bank and right up to here. It's about three to four acres in size, so it makes up about just less than half the size of the property. Unfortunately, it's not easy to see with all the snow. So with all the snow on the banks, it all looks like one thing. You can't see the difference between the, the banks, the flat area and the lake. It's all just one complete area. So what I've done is that I've included an aerial photograph of our property that shows the size of the lake. In that illustration, I've put a little demarcation of where I'm standing, which is right at the edge of the lake. To safely walk on this lake, you need to have at least 10 centimeters of ice. If you want to bring something heavier, like a big truck or a big bucky, then you must have at least 20 centimeters of ice to be able to support that vehicle. Since we're already quite far into spring, you can see that the ice is starting to melt in. I'm going to try and see how close I can get to the melted ice. You can see there's still quite a bit of ice and you can see the little air bubbles just below the ice. I think I'm going to move off the ice just for safety's sake. The pond at its deepest point is about 12 feet deep. With the current loss of water, it's probably down to about 5 to 6 feet. So even if I did fall through the ice, I wouldn't fall too far. There are two main sources of water to fill this pond. The first source is that of precipitation. Firstly, it's that of the snow and the rain. And you can see the snow on the banks of the little pond. That snow will eventually melt and will run off into the little pond. In summer, we also have rain and the rain comes down exactly down the same watershed and it's runoff that goes all the way down into the pond. So when the runoff pulls into the little depression, it folds it and that creates the little pond. Now the most important source of water for this little pond is that of groundwater. Now the groundwater is the water that's in the aquifer just below the surface of the ground. The groundwater from the aquifer seeps into the low-lying area, fills the little depression and in so doing creates the little pond. About 36 years ago, the original owners of the property dug a shallow well and you can see the well right on the other side of the property right across there and that well is also filled by the groundwater. Now that water gets pumped up from the well all the way up to the house and is absolutely essential for all our household needs. If left undisturbed the water in this pond can develop quite a strong smell. The smell comes from the decaying plant matter from the trees surrounding the pond as well as the vegetation that is found naturally within the pond. To combat the stinky smell, we have installed an aeration system. This has required a little air compressor that pumps air through a pumice stone which is situated in the middle of the lake and this creates a series of currents that helps to take all the sulfur gases from the bottom of the lake and expel it to the atmosphere. House, that is the little shelter that houses our little air compressor. And you can see the little compressor on the inside of the pond. This does help to make the pond a lot less stinky. It also makes it much more habitable for all the little waterfowl and deer and other animals that use this lake. We also benefit in that when we walk next to the lake or play on the lake, we don't have to contend with the stinky smell as well. Well, the wind is starting to pick up and I think that may start interfering with our audio. So I'm going to say goodbye to all of you. If you've enjoyed this video, please press the like button. If you'd like to see similar video content in the future, please subscribe to our channel. Until the next time, I'm going to say cheers. Bye.